MW pump off a of 466. A lot of you know about the screw on the top. There's your access to the governor springs, which that's in the other video. And then we got back here the actual full fuel jam nuts. I already adjusted them. So there's not even any threads left, but the basis of it is this little socket, just a 3 8 drive, 14 millimeter. Ten millimeter that'll fit down in there. This I had the 14 millimeter I had a buddy machine out so it'll fit all the way through. And it also uh, flattened a few of the edges so I could put a wrench on it just to make it easier. But it is as simple as moving the jam nuts, loosen up the inner one, and then back up the the big nut to get it to where you want it. It's kind of a tight fit, so There, that smaller nut is about to fall out, so I'm going to have to screw that back in some. So right about flush with that stud is roughly just over 19 millimeters of rack travel, which is about all these pumps are good for. They're not really hot rod pumps, but they can move a pretty good amount of fuel. So, this is your stopper, which don't, don't forget the O-ring in there. Don't mess that up. And luckily with this one, it had two regular slotted screws in it. This one was safety wired. But on a lot of them, you'll see this is this one is going to be a tamper-proof screw like on the newer Dodges. And since I'm here, other fuel adjustments you might need to know about is that's your idle speed you can see the jam nut at the bottom and then your full load stopper here you can adjust that in and uh, get even more travel because it's hitting it right now so I'm gonna get that adjustment dialed in and then this pump is going to be ready to go on sale pretty soon.